The art of pottery and weaving is oftentimes described as therapeutic and even relaxing. That's why for many, this art form actually turns into a hobby or even a job. And we are so lucky here in West Michigan to have so many of these artists. And now they're sharing their pieces at this year's spring show. Joining us, we've got Jerry. He's from the West Michigan Potter Guild. And also we have Judy Van Dam. And she's joining us from the Woodland Weavers and Spinners Guild. Good morning, guys. How are you? Good morning. Uh, we have some amazing and beautiful products here that we're going to talk about in just a little bit. But first, can you guys just give us an overview? review of what people can expect at this year's show. Well, um, there's going to be a lot of different things. One of the wonderful things about pottery and weaving is everything that we sell is unique. The, the artist has to plan, um, decide on colors, decide on texture. There's a lot that goes into making it. And so what you're buying is something totally unique. Yeah, and Jerry, tell us a little bit about what we'll see on the pottery side. On pottery, there's 40 different artists who've created pottery, some for years, and some are actually just recently started to get into clay. And it's a variety from, from pins and buttons to mugs to teapots to beautiful sculptured pieces. Yeah, absolutely. Now let's go a little bit over here and we'll actually start. And you can share a little bit about, so Jerry, if you want to tell us a little bit about the, the pottery, what you've got here's, there. Here's a bowl. It's actually a slab bowl, but laid in. Then first the black is laid on and then it's carved reverse carving. It's got oh, like wow. sgraffito. This that's is by beautiful. my wife, Madeline. Yeah. yeah. And that's the thing with pottery. There's a bunch of different techniques and things like that that really go into building something special and unique. It's amazing with clay, you can do anything. You can make it geometric, you can make it organic, you can texture it and have beautiful and then on top of you get all these incredible colors yeah absolutely and then judy tell us a little bit about what you've got here as well for us well our guild does not have just weavers and spinners we also yeah. have felters and um, creative stitchery basket weaving so we have a little bit of everything so this is hand spun wool uh -huh. and um, these are placemats oh, made in cotton gorgeous this is a hat that's felted with wool and silk. And this is a scarf. It's woven in the old coverlet method. Yep. And, then and it's, that's a felted, a felted purse. purse. Is that what that is too? Yes. Right and these are um, cotton towels. And this is yeah. a baby blanket here. So truly, you can really find anything, anything. At, at this the show that you guys have. From very up. small yeah. and very affordable to more luxurious things. Yeah. So how did you get into doing pottery? What, what's your story behind? <laughs> well, actually, in seventh grade. Yeah. Okay, we didn't have art in elementary school back in the 60s. So in seventh grade, my first art class, and I just fell in love with clay. Yeah. Okay, then I graduated from Wayne, got my degree. But I really didn't know how to fire a gas kill, so I went to Puavik Pottery. Yeah, that's, that's a whole different department to be able to do all that. So I did yeah. all that, and that's where I met my wife, Madeline Kitchmanacek, and we've been making art for 50 years and making our living doing ceramics all over the country. And now, in our later years, we actually kind of, it's nice to be around here and we do the local show. Madeline's in charge of the, the show this week, this yeah. week coming up, and yeah. we're having a good time. So are all the um, artists that are coming, are they all local, or do we have some from maybe out of state? No, this is West Michigan. West There's Michigan some Michigan. from Lansing, okay. some from Kalamazoo, yeah. Oswego, uh, but mostly oh, my friend from Traverse City is coming down, but mostly it's Grand Rapids area. Yeah, any mm. new potters or any new things that we need to be looking out for this year that you think may be different from past years? I think it's, uh, I can't really say <laughs> No, yeah. Yeah, it's, we have a really good blended. All the work is new because people are coming fresh with new work each time, yeah. Yeah, and how did you get started, Judy? I actually took a weaving class, um, I don't want to say how many years ago because it <laughs> yeah. really tells my age, um, but then had a family and had no time for it and I retired four years ago yeah. and went to a yarn shop and they had weaving classes and I thought, oh, I'd like to start that again. So four years ago, right before the pandemic started, I took my first class and then couldn't do it again because everything shut down. But right. I've been weaving ever since and now I have three floor looms and I'm really into it. Yeah, no, that's absolutely <laughs> wonderful. So is there a fee to get in? What do people know need to know about coming to the event? It's free to get in. There's 40 artists. How many, how many weavers? Uh, um, our guild has 100. There's probably going to be 30 or 40. Okay. So there's no admission. There's free parking. It's easy to do. It's easy to walk to see the whole show. Come and then 
take a look at everything, then decide what you want to take home. And, you know, it's, it's wonderful. And, and it's nice you actually get to see the artist and support the artist and talk to the artist yeah. and, and understand their creativity. Yeah. And that's what it's really about is you're supporting creativity. You're supporting people making art and doing their art. And with younger people who are just getting started, and that's a great helping way for them, them make to a talk career. and to I mean, start. Yeah, right. Yes. Absolutely. Well, thank you guys so much for being here and telling us more about the show that you guys have yeah. coming up. If you guys want to see it, it's the 33rd annual spring show and sale. It's April 13th, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. So there is plenty of time for you to get down there and see. It's at 2250 East Paris Southeast. WestMichiganPottersGuild.com is a great place to go. And also for the Woodland Weavers and Spinners, you can find them on Facebook.